you just you just want people to understand um, a new way of seeing their own world the what we're so familiar with on a day-to-day -day basis and seeing it in a different way with fresh vision is, is really empowering and that's a lot of my classes are about empowering people I came here in 2005 I just heard somebody else say it was liberating, and I can't even begin to tell you what happened for me. I came in not a lick of experience with the oils. I'd done little teeny watercolors, and I'd been very controlled and little teeny. And um, I talked with a friend of mine who was taking Mary's class. She says, you need to come with me to this class. And um, from the from day one, I just started playing with color and bright and big and movement and it has I love it. The space is fabulous because, well, trying to paint in my own home would be ridiculous because first of all I get too distracted. So this is what's really nice about it is because you've got a single purpose when you're here, is to paint and then interacting with other people that are doing the same thing makes it. You just want to be here and do that. And you know, I get stuck, like that one's giving me grief right now, and so I just, you know, I'll sit down and look at the library of books, talk with other people, wander around and see what they're doing. Say, or even looking at Mary's paintings around the studio. Say, oh, I think I'll try that. And so there's lots of inspiration here that comes in, yeah. It's like at any point you have 50 choices or more, a thousand choices but it's which one is going to deliver the most emotive impact to the whole that you're after. Yeah. They've had families and jobs and all of that, and, but they want more, and I'm glad to see it because there is more. And uh, this helps people balance their lives, you know, from uh, the corporate world is just brutal and dehumanizing, and this is a way for them to get back in, in touch with themselves and get a balance in their life. I'm originally a goldsmith and I started painting my jewelry and that's something you would never, that's a no-go in Germany because we are coming so much from the material, from the technique. We, are, we don't have that narrative you know, thing that American people have. So we are not as bold usually. We try to make it really engineering really based on facts and what can you do with the material and is it really working, will it be holding up the next four generations. And that's different here. I just, I just try not to think what I do and just do spontaneously what my hands make me do, more or less. Good, Jim. Yeah. You got something vertical. At least you didn't have the two parallel lines. That's much better. I'm really proud of, of what they're accomplishing. One of my students has got a show in Portland um, next month. And they're exhibiting in the wineries and doctor's offices and Bank of America and online and selling their work and doing very respectable work. And it's great to take all these people who are professional people and present to them, some of them like, you know, the retired professor of physics, they're, they're really, left brain people and give them something to hang their hat on in respect to teaching. So what teaching has done for me has, has been very powerful in making me aware and presenting to them a logical way of an intuitive process and get them to tap into that side of themselves, the other half of the brain. We're looking for fresh vision and, and that's what it's really about, creating fresh vision. And, uh, and that's a tall order. So even when my students make a nice balanced composition, I say now push it, push it further into some point where it's almost not working. And then you really know you're getting someplace. So we're changing what art is and what art can be and moving it into new territory. Everybody knows what a painting looks like, you know, but it's moving it beyond that into something truly significant.